The Indian Navy is advancing its capabilities by integrating a novelized variant of the DRDO's Project Kusha air defense system onto its aircraft carriers. This strategic move aims to enhance the Navy's blue water supremacy and bolster the defense of its vessels, particularly the INS Vikrant. DRDO is intensifying its efforts on the STAR missile program, with imminent developmental trials for the ground-launched variant, initially designed as a high-speed target drone for air defense testing, the STAR is now evolving into a versatile weapon system, including an air-to-air configuration aimed at neutralizing high-value aerial assets such as airborne warning and control systems, AVACs. India is set to enhance its air combat capabilities by acquiring a new batch of MBDA Meteor beyond visual range air-to-air missiles for its Dassault Rafale fighter jets. This procurement, valued at approximately 1,500 crore rupees, is expected to receive prompt approval from the Defence Acquisition Council. Indian Oil Corporation, the leading refiner in India, has resumed its purchases of Russian oil, specifically five cargoes scheduled for December delivery. This decision comes despite increasing pressure from the United States for India to halt its acquisition of Russian oil amid ongoing sanctions related to the Ukraine conflict. The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research's National Aerospace Laboratories has announced plans for a groundbreaking long-range kamikaze drone. This stealth-enabled loitering munition aims to enhance precision strikes in modern warfare reflecting India's commitment to self-reliance in defence technology. India emphasised its ongoing collaboration with Afghanistan regarding water resources, highlighting the Salma Dam as a significant symbol of their partnership. The Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson, Randhir Jaiswal, addressed this during a media briefing in New Delhi. The Indian Air Force's ambitions for an enhanced indigenous fighter fleet are facing significant setbacks. Reports indicate that Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is unlikely to deliver the first Tejas MK-1 a jet before mid-2026, which is a considerable delay from the previously suggested March 2026 timeline. The rise of Lobro AI generated deepfakes in Pakistan's social media particularly following the 2025 India-Pakistan skirmishes, has transformed the digital landscape into a chaotic battlefield. These deepfakes serve as tools for psychological warfare, aimed at boosting domestic morale rather than influencing international opinion. Raipur-based Special Blasts Limited has announced a significant initiative to manufacture 155mm artillery shells domestically within the next two years. This move aims to enhance India's artillery capabilities amid rising border tensions and alliance with the country's push for self-reliance in defence production. DRDO has launched a significant initiative to develop an indigenous active protection system specifically designed for armoured fighting vehicles, focusing on the main battle tank Arjun series. This fully autonomous, hard kill system aims to enhance the survivability of armoured fighting vehicles and their crews against various anti-armour threats. The Philippine Army is set to enhance its defence capabilities in response to rising tensions in the South China Sea by acquiring two batteries of the Indo-Russian BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles from India. This initiative follows the Philippine Marine Corps' recent integration of BrahMos systems into its coastal defence operations. On Friday, Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh met with US Secretary of War Pete Hegseth in Kuala Lumpur. This meeting marked a significant milestone as the two leaders signed a 10-year framework for the US-India Major Defence Partnership. The signing took place on the sidelines of the 12th ASEAN Defence Minister's Meeting Place, which is scheduled to commence on 1 November.